Okay, another thing that I'd like to point out to you, this is something that you don't really have to memorize, but you should be aware of. Um, there are complex equations that are involved in uh, what we call free surface effect, um, which if you want, you can dig into that more on your own, but I'm just going to give you the basic concept of free surface effect. Free surface effect, when we refer to a free surface, that's basically a fancy way of saying a liquid. It can be anything from fuel uh, to wastewater, or even water that's gotten into the boat through a leak. Um, so the thing about free surface that you have to be concerned about is that, again, free surface, it can change the center of gravity, okay? And as I explained how the center of gravity can uh, change the writing arm, it can jeopardize the stability of the vessel. Now the problem with free surface is it, it's a liquid, it doesn't sit still, so as the boat rocks, that liquid sloshes around and that can in turn jeopardize the stability of the vessel. Okay, so here we have our center of gravity here, we have this water in there, so the water adds to the center of gravity of the vessel. Okay. Now the problem is, is if anything causes this boat to tip, whether it's wind or someone walking from one side to the other, suddenly that water is going to seek the low spot. And if the low spot is down on one side or the other, it's going to cause that center of gravity to shift. And when that happens, it can decrease the riding arm, which means the vessel can be in jeopardy of being unstable, it can possibly capsize. So vessels have capsized uh, because of free surface effect. In most cases, it's usually because the vessel has gotten uh, a hole in it, it's partially sinking, and this water is sloshing around and it causes the writing arm to go negative and then cause the vessel to capsize.